hello how are you welcome back to my channel if you want to learn how to do this look so please keep on watching i will take you step by step to achieve this look without foundation in a few easy steps and let's begin all right let's start um first of all my name is Sidra and I just need to tell you this for introduction purposes. I love makeup and I, you can tell, you can tell, watch all my videos all about makeup. But let's get to the video. Step number one is a fully moisturized skin. You really need a good skin regime to achieve this look. Um, yeah, of course, uh, we will have acne like I have over here and you can't help it. It's right here. You can help it. I mean, yes, um, we are human and we have hormones. Uh, but try to keep your skin... Okay, so for, for good makeup, good skin is the foundation because the makeup sits on your skin. I always tell everyone, always tell all the girls whoever come up to me and ask me um, tips, any tips, and this is my number one tip. Keep your skin clear. You need clear skin. So first of all, I will definitely share my skin regime with you guys in a coming video. But you can see a video pop up link here somewhere. And in that video, I do share how I shave my face. And shaving your face is so, so, so essential for a very healthy, glowy skin. And all the myths and all the fears and everything I've addressed in that video and what you have to do before and after shaving all it's like in detail so if you want to check it out go ahead and then I will definitely share my uh, morning and night routine with you guys soon I have moisturized my skin so something I use to make my skin glowy right here so that's the nice sign of my drops I received this in my boxy charm box for the month of October and yeah uh, it's a very a little bit goes a long way do you see this instant glow on my face so we need that we need and it's so sticky it, it literally grabs everything we are going to color correct and i am using uh the la pro uh color corrector under my eyes because i do have dark circles and this is in a nude it's uh, PC974 and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my finger and let the warmth of the finger settle everything in and then you will see this difference do you see the difference um, I'm gonna put a little bit more just a little bit and you see the difference Look at this. It's just just color correction. I'm gonna color correct any areas I need help with. So for me, usually it's around my eyes, around my nostrils. And again, I'm using my finger. Some people like to use brush, beauty blenders. I feel fingers are your best friends because fingers um, melt the product in your skin the way I mean nothing can melt and now I'm gonna take my wet beauty blender and I'm just going to try to push everything in my skin and that's it just try to make it skin that's what I'm trying to do and by pushing with a wet beauty blender it really for my skin it works because I do have I tend to have pores here and here open pores and when I push it with a wet beauty blender, it kind of soothes my skin down. Now, after I do my color correction, I would go with a primer after. I'm using the She Glam one, the uh, Bird the Skin Primer. And the reason why I am doing it after, the reason why I'm doing it after is I, the first, very first thing I would like to do is put a color corrector because I want it to cling to the skin and be skin. Um, and then it just takes some time to settle down while I work with my primer i lost my scoop i'm so sorry but this is my primer i am doing here Ooh. okay it's so refreshing i love this primer and now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna again use my fingers i like using my fingers and so i i have made three layers right now one is for, for one moisturizer and uh, the glow drops 
the other is color correction and uh, the primer now after blending everything i am going to again of course go with the beauty blender this is the rare beauty beauty blender um it it doesn't do it's nobody's raving about it uh in the market but i really like it the texture the dimensions it's different i like it um yeah and i am just going to push everything in so now my skin is ready and I, i'm not going to put any more product beside concealer so let me show you today we're working with, with two concealers concealer number one is uh, the Too Faced, of course, everyone's favorite concealer. Concealer number two is, of course, everyone's, again, favorite concealer. It's the Tarte um, uh, Creaseless Concealer. And this is so moisturizing for my eyes. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to show you how I use these. First, I am going to just you just to my trouble areas. That's it. Because we already color corrected it, so we don't need a lot. And I'm just around the chin around my mouth i think that's that's about it that's all i'm going to do with the concealer i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the flat angled brush to blend everything together i'm gonna use a beauty blender and blend everything again a beauty blender here the, po the pointy part and i'm just gonna go around my eyes look up okay this is done there now comes in a little extra step you need to do, okay? I'll show you. So that extra step is I am going to go with a little lighter concealer than my skin. Now the Too Faced one, Natural Beige, was my shade, sorry, is my shade. Um, but I am just going to go a little lighter. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Little lighter. I'm just going to blend with my fingers. So the top part, I, I use a base. It's the Ace Beauty base, eyeshadow base, and it is very light. And the reason why I did that is because I want to blend this with my Tarte concealer. And I'm just using my fingers to melt everything in. And padding motion never drag. It's always in a padding motion. And that's it right now, it looks like a ghost. Don't worry, I'll fix that. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use my beauty blender. The blend, it's all about blending. Now, when I am going to bring um, a bronzer and blush, the dimension is going to come itself and this is not gonna look scary. I am going to do an eye look and I'm gonna be linking this video somewhere, the eye look. All right, so I'm back with this eye look I created and I will link it somewhere here, the short I made. Um, it's very easy, few steps. It looks amazing, but it's very, very easy. Plus, I cannot live without these lashes. These are the Pow Tents. Uh, it's on Amazon and it's 60 mink lashes. Oh my God. I cannot do any look without them. They're beautiful. Look at them. Just look at them. They're amazing. Um, and I need to wear them. So these are my lashes. Now I'm going to be using uh, the Morphe X uh, Maddie Ziegler um, shade Peace Out. It's a, it's a peachy cream shadow and I'm gonna be going in and ooh, that's a lot of pigment i took a lot i didn't know just gonna get a little bit back that's a lot of pigment okay so let's i'm just gonna be very careful okay yeah that's a lot of pigment so i'm just gonna do this and i'm gonna take my beauty blender and again blend it wow it's so pretty look at that it's so pretty Look at that! I love it! It's so pretty! And it's kind of like a universal shade because I feel that this is my opinion. The brown skin, uh, which I have, I don't have like dark skin or I don't have light skin. I have the medium skin and I feel that makeup, it just suppresses the pigments. I don't know. I love a dark skin. Oh my god, the pigments look beautiful on it. Even white skin, the pigment looks so pretty on it but when when it's the, the skin is in the middle the pigments are just disappearing in it so um for me it's hard for me to find a blush and this one is wonderful like wonderful if you want you can go a little bit on your nose um that was left on the sponge there we go a little bit just a little bit on your nose just give that cheeky glow 
and wow so pretty and can you tell i'm not even wearing a foundation like can you tell this is no foundation look imagine now i am using the Too faced um uh it's canary diamond and i wanted to use the shade for so long all right so because this is just a, a, a very no foundation look a uh, skin like look so i'm just gonna use it on my beauty blender and i'm just going to take a little bit and dab it there we go wow it's beautiful look at that just a little bit and then there we are it's gorgeous then i'm just gonna take a little bit on my tip of the nose and on the bridge of course i am so happy with this powder oh my goodness it's beautiful it has two colors on it and look at that wow and this is the finished look um this is a no foundation look again can you imagine no foundation used just a few steps and this is the look here if you want more please like and subscribe and um hit the bell icon so whenever i upload something like this and any idea jingles up in my brain um you're the first one to know about it and i hope you like this video again take care bye and yeah see you next time in the next video bye